There we go. We can get some diff porn happening here with this full HDness. What's up guys? Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Now I just came back from giving my X-Max its maiden thrash. I went to the local BMX track and the um, RC track. I gave it a good uh, good hit around there as much as I could. The, um, what I noticed that the radio control track was a bit too small for this guy. The BMX track seemed a bit more suited um, just because of the size I guess and it's just the jumps are better for it. And as yeah, in general, just it's just nicer. Now, nothing broke, which is good. The body obviously scratched, dinged, bent, whatever. Who cares? It's supposed to. It protects this bad boy underneath. Um, nothing, uh, yeah, nothing broke. Everything seemed to go well. SMC 9000 milliamp hour batteries, the three cell, easily went 45 minutes plus. I had to uh, actually pack it up because I. <laughs> They just didn't die, so obviously maybe an hour I guess you'll get out of them, depending on the driving conditions and stuff like that. But extremely happy with them. Anyway, I wanted just uh, a lot of uh, news around the web saying you know the diffs are empty, they're half empty, they're, you know they're they're rubbish, whatever. So what I want to do, I want to show you guys how to get to the diffs and what's inside. It's, the benefit about the X Max, it's extremely easy. To work on, there's only I think five actual screws to get to the um, the diff itself, and just a couple to remove the bumper and the skid plate if you want as well. So extremely easy to work on, which is a plus. Thanks Traxxas for thinking about that. But uh, yeah, let's get cracking. Okay, guys, the first thing is remove these two screws here that hold the bumper. That makes you be able to just lift this up out of the way pretty easy the next step remove these four screws at the bottom when you do that you can just lift that up like that hunky dory and now you can see there here's some of the the damage you know not too bad it's just scrape scrapage on the uh, plastic to be expected good thing about that is if that gets too beat up this isn't part of the integral part of the chassis or anything like that. It's just for cover and looks and does its job to protect this main part here. So you can just get rid of that and smack a new one on there. So once that's off, lift this puppy up. And now we can get access to the five screws that we need to get to rip this whole front diff cover off. So one, two, three, four, five. Happy days. You can actually remove you don't need to take the skid plate off to get access to these bottom two screws here. I think he's going to manipulate it and just kind of go near the, I think it's, I think there's like the there's little screws or little holes at the bottom of that skid plate. Anyway, once you do that, you can slide this puppy out. And there you go. That is a differential there. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? A lot of grease in there which I like to see. It's always good. See if I can zoom in for you guys. There we go, look at that. 1080p differential goodness. So, not too bad. Let's have a look at the next step. Okay, so this next part's pretty easy. You just kind of pull on the whole system here and it will just come out in one piece, just like that. Let me get this camera to focus on here if I can. There we go. It's quite a beefy unit, that's for sure. Very robust and if I feel these gears, there seems to be some weight oil in there, so definitely it's got something in there because that is pretty hard to move. So, there we go. Ever wonder how the X-Max diff looks like? Differential, there you go. Front and rear are very similar, well, the same actually, and the process is the same. So let's go check it out and see what oil is in here. Okay, guys, there we go. So I undid the four screws that held it on, and there you go. It has fluid in there, which is 
Super! As you can see there, the spider gears all have some fluid in there and I'm not too sure exactly how full that is. It kind of looks half full but there is fluid in there so rest assured, uh, rest assured guys that you know the rumors you've been hearing about things dips being completely dry and stuff like that obviously that might be a rare case but in my circumstance it definitely has fluid in there as you can see and there we go I can get some diff porn happening here with this full HD-ness anyway that's it guys I, I hope you uh, actually can tell the difference I've actually bought a new camera I bought the Panasonic DMC FZ1000 and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it uh, shoots video so far so anyway I digress onto the subject if you want to fill them up you can now is your opportunity but I just wanted to check it out inspect that it did have um, fluid in there which it does and um, I'm very happy about that moving forward I might replace the weight of the the diff fluid in the future but I'll just leave everything as stock as possible as yet and if something goes kaboom then I will change it but I'll, the process for this is the same for the front so yeah that's it it guys you know quick video just want to show what's inside always interesting to see differentials as well all these gears I love looking at all this stuff so Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out. See you in the next video.